Welcome back to Real Fishing 2, the walkthrough. Today we are heading to summer inshore fishing. You tan as you fish on the rocks in summer. <laughs> we are looking for one spotted parrot fish. Now don't get that confused with parrot perch. One spotted parrot fish is what we're looking for. A spotted parrot fish, according to this game, is a spotted parrot perch that has matured and goes beyond 24 inches. Uh, grows beyond 28 inches in its uh, in its total size. So uh, a parrot perch and parrot fish, according to this game, are both the same fish with uh, different names in both a juvenile and adult form. Uh, I'm liking, I'd like to show you the way that I complete these levels, not necessarily all of the possible methods you can use or even the default methods right away. Here's why that's important. In this level, your default is a bottom fishing rig. And the bottom fishing rigs are a little difficult in multi-species levels like this because each species has a slightly different bite. And you have to get used to uh, multiple species. I believe there's four or five in this level. You have to get used to the, the bite patterns of each one uh, that, have, that, that take your bait on the bottom. When you use a float fish like this, that removes nearly all of that. Sometimes there's some timing issues you can have. That, by the way, was a spotted parrot perch. So that is the smaller version of the fish we're looking for. Uh, but the float takes away a lot of that challenge. And I found this in Real Fishing 1, um, when you could use a surface lure that took a lot of the guesswork out because the surface lure, when you'd have a strike, you'd just have splashes on the surface. It wouldn't actually leave the, uh, the, the fishing screen. Here's another spotted parrot perch. And uh, we're getting a little better, or I am, as I go through this game at, at turning fish when they start to, uh, to flop like that, when they start to try to kick your hook out. I'm, I'm able to get them turned a little bit more easily, and it's usually by pulling them in the direction that they are facing, not against the direction they're facing. I can't tell you empirically that that works, um, according to the mechanics of this game. These are all anecdotal observations I've made. So there's a spotted parrot perch. That's one fish to check off the list. But I try when I do these these levels, I try to look at all the different rigs that you can use. And you can do this too when you play. You can experiment with the different rigs uh, to see what is the easiest one for you to hook fish. Now, I believe that in this level or in this game, when you catch a certain number of fish, that's when you start to see larger fish spawn. Or um, not, not spawn as in reproduce, but spawn as in show up as p potential fish that you can catch. Uh, this is one of the just another fish we need to check off our uh, our list. It's uh, some kind of a jack, I think. Let's see when this pulls up. This is a yellow jack. That's right. This yellow jack. So I put a little uh, little space in there, a little little cut there, and uh, I've adjusted the depth. So you can fish a little bit deeper with your bobber on this one. So I've already put the bobber out there, and I've adjusted the depth a little bit lower, and it's another bite time. But I noticed when I was fishing on the bottom with this one, I would get a little bit nervous when I would see... Uh, there is a spotted parrotfish, by the way, the fish in the background there. Um, that's what we're actually looking for. When I would see one of those show up, they show up infrequently. So it's hard for you to get used to their bite patterns. So you want to be able to hook your fish easily so that you can have a chance of reeling them in, getting them where you need them. These are all fish that I'm uh, checking off. I'm still on my way to 70 species in this game. So um, every level, I try to catch one of each of the species in that level if I can. Sometimes I can come back later if there's fish that spawn at different seasons. But this summer inshore fishing, there's a kingfish, another one to check off. So even though these aren't the target species, uh, they are good to get at least one of them to fill out your fish Pokedex, at least in this game. I do enjoy the music of this level, by the way. It's pretty nice. All right, here's another bite. And the timing is a little bit different from some of those fish. So you do have to be, um, you know, careful. You have to watch You have to watch that bobber. But it's easier, in my opinion, to get these different bite patterns on a bobber than it is when you have to watch the fish animation on a bottom rig. I, I wouldn't always also go by the text in the game. The text in the game is often useful. I shouldn't say you should never look at it. For example, when I was fishing in the lake looking for a large bass to spawn or a large enough bass to spawn, I was fishing in the earliest month that it became available, maybe April or something. 
Um, and I was fishing there and I wasn't seeing bass. I wasn't seeing large bass. I wasn't seeing, I kept catching them over and over and over again. And then the Fish Mind magazine <laughs> that you can look at, the monthly magazine, that had a tip that uh, the summer months are a little bit better for larger bass. No, so I do believe that that connection is real. Again, that's all based on anecdotal obser observations that I've made. Um, that some of those monthly patterns of when fish show up or when large enough fish show up uh, might happen. But in terms of what to catch things on, I believe the text in this game insinuates that the uh, spotted parrotfish are, are caught on the bottom with specific baits. But I was uh, seeing them and hooking them with uh, this bobber rig and with other rigs on the bottom um, and, with, and with the bobber. So you don't want to go by the only thing that the game tells you to do. Otherwise, you'll be a little bit limited. Sometimes the, the text of these is a little bit fuzzy in the advice that they give you. So um, when you're playing this authentically, the game encourages you to experiment, and I do as well. So this is another one of those uh, striped parrotfish. Pull these guys in. We've seen this species before, I, I believe, in the Red Sea Bream um, episode. I think we've seen them. I don't remember if I caught one in that video. Uh, they're a little bit tricky to, to get in. Sometimes you can't control, or I haven't been able to control those uh, those kick animations. So I'm using seaweed right now. And even though the game tells you to use clam meat or shellfish meat to hook the uh, spotted parrotfish, I'm using seaweed because I was seeing them bite on uh, this kind of bait. So I did not catch the very first spotted pair of fish that I hooked. That's not expected anyway. But uh, we took some trial and error, took some luck. This is the spotted parrot fish, by the way. This is our target species. So if I land this fish, that is the goal for this level. There is a tip in the game that they have a hard beak uh, to, to chew up shellfish. And I believe that's true of real parrotfish. Uh, that hard beak from them is supposed to uh, bite your line off. You're supposed to use a leader. But that's all in the text. I believe that the rig that you have automatically includes whatever kind of uh, leader you need. I don't know if there's any mechanical difference in this fish being able to break your line or not. I did not notice anything in the small number of fish that I hooked and played. Usually I would lose them to uh, animations like this, to the, to the, uh, the kick animation. So even though it looks like this is the uh, first and only spotted parrotfish I hooked, uh, this is cut together from about uh, 30 or 35 minutes of gameplay on this level. So usually when you see these videos, these aren't uh, taken just straight up in one session. And here's me desperately pulling on that fish because they can certainly kick the hook while they're facing you. And uh, there's a spotted parrotfish. So I got a little bit lucky there that uh, I was able to get him right up to the boat. That was a big challenge in this level was uh, fish were often very deep and so pulling a fish from the depths up to your uh, boat or to the shore here was uh, where I'd usually lose them. So, And that timed out perfectly. That is uh, time to stop fishing for us. So, uh, But an observation I just made there is that you could tire a fish out and then get them up to where your boat is or your the the shore is your your zero coordinate on your line but then you still have to get them up to the surface to actually land them and that distance sometimes on deeper levels like this is enough for a fish to get off um, or even a tired fish that can't run anymore would go into that kick animation while they're coming towards you and i wasn't able to turn them so you almost saw me lose the uh the trophy fish <laughs> the level advancing fish to that particular animation i got lucky right there and we'll hope that that luck continues as we go on through this game if you like this series of videos or the real fishing relaxation videos that i'm putting up here uh, on the alternating days of the week uh, do give a like to these ones i do love to see your feedback and your comments so leave the comments below or you can hit me up on twitter where i'm also active underscore ate we will see you next time